so in our next video uh, we are going to uh, see that result and discussion for the crc of acetylcholine so in earlier section whenever we have performed this experiment we have got this type of the video now here you can see that you, you can uh, do it clear you can do it from the point 1 point 2 point 4 like that just it is a example i have shown clear this is a just a example i have shown you can do it uh, from the point one no issue now here i have stopped with the 51.2 because this is the highest response clear highest response now what you have to do take a scale clear take a scale and measure the height clear measure the height of this response from here this is the baseline clear this is the baseline from here to here so what is the height here to here what is the height so just i have wrote as uh, you can say that uh, a probable it, uh, probable height i have wrote like 0.8 it is the 3 centimeter 1.6 uh, it is the uh, 4 millimeters so millimeter uh, then 6.48 millimeter uh, don't write all those things first first you write the height you write the concentration first one by one all the concentration whatever you have used and here the height clear here the height now whenever you have written the height which is the height highest 10 10 millimeter 10 millimeter means either the this one or this one but among these which one is the lowest so this one is the lowest so this is the 10 clear 10 and here also 10 so which one is the highest centi highest highest height we have found for that 25.6 so directly you will write that 100 no calculation nothing whenever you are getting the highest one you will write that 100 here so this is also 10 so i have wrote the 100 so though we are not going to consider this one because already you, we have got the 100 one now if 10 is equal to 100 percent 9 is equal to 90 percent 8 is equal to 80 percent 6 is equal to 60 percent so simple mathematical equation you are going to use and you will find the percentage response so first what is the first you write the concentration calculate the measure the height then measure the height which one is the highest for example if it is 11 so 11 is 100 if it is 12 12 is 100 now if the 12 is 100 9 how much calculate it 8 how much calculate it 6 how much calculate it so it is a very simple way to find the percentage response clear percentage now we are getting the percentage response for each concentration now height is not required we are getting the concentration and response we are getting the concentration and response now we'll see now this is the semi log graph sheet this graph sheet it is called as a semi log graph sheet now what you are going to do for example if you go to the previous one like point 1 we have started the point 1 so here you can write that point 1 next point 2 point 3 point 4 point 5 point 6 point 7 point 8 point 9 point 9 then 1 then 1 after that not is here you should not uh, so point 1 or here how they have written just 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 point 1 after that point 2 10 times point 3 point 4 point 5 point 6 point 7 point 8 point 9 1 after 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 20 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, this is the important uh, things for the this particular graph. This is we are calling as a semi log graph sheet. Clear yes, semi log graph sheet. And here, if you are percentage response 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. 75 100 so like that as per you like they have given here 20 40 60 70 uh, 60 80 100 so as per your convenience you just measure it now for example go to the point 8 
30 percent so you just find it where is point 0.8 for example if you have started with the point 0.1 Point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, point, point 0.8, point 0.8, 30 percent. Next, 1.6. Next, 1.6 means next one. So, 1.6 how much? Like that, you have to calculate. You have to find this graph. Clear? You have to find this graph. So, that is the graph which is DRC graph or the crc graph which is s shape or the sigmoid shape s shape graph or the sigmoid shape graph we are going to get through the crc and first portion that means 25 percent of the curve has the poor discrimination between the doses as we have seen see here first doses are not that much prominent discrimination is less for this middle portion, you, we can observe middle portion, we can see the highest sensitivity followed by the after 100, it will be the, you can say that same. So, greater sensitivity in the middle portion as we are increasing the concentration and last portion of the graph shows the ceiling effect. The ceiling effect means the response is not increasing, clear response is not increasing. So, that is you can say that S-shaped graph or the sigmoid shape graph. So, after CRC, if you are getting the S shape graph or the sigmoid shape graph, you can understand that the, your result, your uh, experiment is proper. Clear experiment is proper. And this it we are using, that we are using to, uh, you can say that uh, calculation of the bioassay. In the next classes, we will see about the bioassay, that is the bioassay. Clear? So, this is the you can say that is very simple experiment. Like here just uh, for your understanding I will show you how they have given like here. So, uh, 4, 8, 1 is 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Now, here it is means it is the uh, point 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 or 8, that is one concentration. So, for but in our case, it will be the, we will going to the point 0.8, 1.6, 3.2, 6.4, 12.8, 25%, 6 and 51.2 like that, clear. So, after that, we will get the sigma and shape graph. So, you can take the Semi-log graph sheet, you can draw your uh, graph, clear? You can draw your graph. So, this is all about the CRC of acetylcholine. So, in the next classes, we will see about the bioassay using this graph.